Oh, I get something from uh, you, I get it, and then I'll... Mm. Kasi parang for me, accountants kasi are representatives. Pwede. Parang representative ng company, representative ng small people. Mm -hmm. Kasi for us, kami yung may knowledge on how to compute the taxes, mm -hmm. kung ano yung classification niya. So for me, it's not a middleman, but a representative mm -hmm. ng company na sinaserve namin, or yung clients na sinaserve namin. Mm -hmm. Um, what do you think are the top three possible reasons why accountants or the business owners do not pay the right taxes? Ah, oh, top three talaga. Uh, at the top of my head, um, ako sa one plus top So at the top of my head, I think, uh, why business owners are saying don't pay the right taxes I think uh, what is lacking is not, I think the question is not about paying the right taxes or not. Mm -hmm. I think the question is more of we are not able to educate our people mm -hmm. on what what really is taxes, mm -hmm. how is it affects them. Because mm -hmm. you see, if, if I'm a business owner mm -hmm. and then I would know, Tayo say we, people want to know how things are done. Parang you want an end result, you want to know how it's being used, how how will this tax that I'm giving be significant to me? What is it for me? So if if they know um, why they should pay, I think they would pay. And then if there's somebody who will tell them that they should pay this, I think they would pay. I just think there's there's a lack of people advocating, um, sharing that knowledge to, to, to among their groups, among their peers, among their... Now, this is what we should be paying. Yes. You agree? Okay. Um, so, what do you think should the government do to help the accountants become advocates of the right? What should the government do? Um, I think in this age of, uh, of social media and, and, and digital marketing and all that, where the world is uh, smaller, gets smaller and smaller every day. I think we can, the government, us, as I mentioned, can take advantage of that platform to reach more people and and educate educate more people on the importance of taxes and how you do it. Sometimes it's just because it's very inconvenient for people, that's why they don't pay it, or I don't know what to pay and how to pay it, that's why I don't get to pay. For me naman, siguro dapat uh, gawing convenient for the taxpayers yung mm -hmm. katulad ng kung paano sila magbab yung processes, paano magbabayad ng taxes. Kasi, like for example, ngayon kasi sa taxation system natin, ang may access lang sa online is yung mga large taxpayers mm -hmm. lang talaga. Pero kapag SMEs ka or professionals ka, individuals ka, you need to line up kapag magbabayad ka ng tax. And may binabasa nga akong article kanina na it Take, parang sa Philippines daw ay we uh, parang we consume or we have we need to allocate 182 hours per year para magbayad tayo ng taxes compared sa Singapore na 64 hours lang so parang you see the difference na yung 182 hours yun yung pinipila mo yun yung inaantay mo sa pila so i think kaya yung ibang taxpayers then parang hindi rin sila yung nagpe-pay ng right taxes kasi they see it as a burden. Yeah. Not only yung financially na maglalabas ka ng pera na burden, pero yung burden na parang ikaw na nga yung magbabayad ng tax. Mm -hmm. Ikaw pa yung pahihirapan. Yes. Parang ganun. So, so, yun yung... Yeah, there's a... Per my perception kasing ganun eh. Mm -hmm. And to be fair naman, to be... To in all fairness to government, they're, they're, they're doing something yeah. about it. They're, they're improving the system. Mm -hmm. And we as accountants see it. So, yes. naging online yung mga bagay-bagay. You don't mm -hmm. have to line up na. But... Gaya na sinabi ng wife ko, yun yung dating perception. Mm -hmm. I think what we need is we educate people and then we inform people that there's a new system. Mm -hmm. Well, people are informed, but if we boost that, that information campaign, if we boost yes. that, that uh, knowledge down to the roots and make it often as possible, I think people will understand. Mm -hmm. it's, it's convenient now na naman eh. Uh, it's just that there's a perception that it's not 
it's not it's a burden yeah, exactly. so if we can change that perception that it's not a burden mm -hmm. then i'm pos i'm very positive people will pay taxes what do you think are the three most important values or characters that an accountant should have wow bias for integrity yes integrity. number one bias for integrity uh, an accountant should be always on the side is always biased for integrity regardless yes. of 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 what will happen or what is happening transparency because nung na expose na kami kasi when when you are an accounting student di ba parang books lang theories lang yung pinag-aaralan mo pero kapag na expose ka na dun sa talagang actual na world talagang dun mo realize na kayang paikot ng isang accountant mm -hmm. ang finances ng isang kumpanya mm -hmm. na hindi malalaman ng alam mo nang hindi malalaman ng isang normal na tao na mm -hmm. for example financial statement readers na pwedeng may tinatago na pala yung isang accountant kaya kami din as part of our profession yung code of ethics natin na dapat transparent kami mm -hmm. kasi syempre it's our role and at the same time parang yun yung ano namin eh kumbaga parang ano ba tawag sa ganun parang dapat not only as a professional but values mo as a person yeah. outside your job you transparency yeah so we think it's it's bias for integrity it's transparency and, and then pro excellence yeah excellence. personally my wife and i uh, ano namin yan? Uh, personal core value mm -hmm. integrity and excellence mm -hmm. i think uh, everyone should should realize how great they are yes. and that they they can do greater things mm -hmm. uh, we, sometimes we're not excellent at what we do because we believe we're not excellent. But if you think you're excellent at what you do, you, you reach your full potential, you, you, you break boundaries of what you, you've, you've, you've achieved so far. And as an accountant, if you think you're excellent, you're gonna, be, you're gonna, you're gonna do your job the best way you can do it. And in, in, in that way, um, more, that will create a lot of advantages, a lot of uh, good effects in the company, in yourself, in, 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 in all the people that are that are that depending on whatever an accountant does for a certain organization. Um, have you worked na po with a company or with clients that ask you not to pay the right taxes? Mm -hmm. Because so of, uh, far, parang ano, wala pa naman. I have experienced some. Uh, How they, was it? It was tough, to be honest. Uh, may mga tao kasi talaga nangihinayang sa pera na ibabaya din sa gobyerno. Simply because um, you're looking at it in a level na anong makukuha ko pabalik? They're not using it anyway, in a good way. Binubulsa lang sila dyan. Let's face it, that's a, that's, a, that's a common perception on taxes uh, in our country. And ako personally, what I do is uh, I, I, I understand where they're coming from mm -hmm. and then I explain to them mm -hmm. what are the consequences of not doing it right yes. so uh, that's that's that that's the first that's that's my default mm -hmm. I would if you're my client I would say to you if you want to do it this way mm -hmm. this can be the consequences of these actions mm -hmm. if you still decide to do it that way do it that way but I don't want yes. I don't I don't want to be involved mm -hmm. in anything that I don't agree with so that's how that's how I deal with with with, with clients so far that would uh, ask to do it in another uh, in another way I don't agree so I, I I would I would just I would I would how do I say this I would emphasize the client I would I would understand where he is coming from because probably you know, there are a lot of factors that, that revolves in it. Nagawa na yun yung dati, or may nakapagsabi sa kanya na pwede yes. gawin, etc., etc. But I think it is my accountability and responsibility to tell you, as a client, the, conse the future yes. consequences of those actions mm -hmm. and how will you be affected with it. If you choose the same, uh, that's up to you now. Uh, how would the clients react? when you reject their there are a lot of ways to to, to tell clients to be honest um, okay lang naman sa kanila eh kasi they don't pay you anyway so uh, basta lang on a, on a personal note ako uh, 
a satisfaction ko, I will not be satisfied if I did not tell my client what's the consequences of those actions. So if they feel bad about it, so be it. If they feel, if they take that against me, so be it. As long as I'm able to do my accountability to tell you these are the consequences, future consequences, short-term, mid-term, long-term consequences of what you are thinking of doing. Okay. So since, since you've been asked to reduce the tax, the company, have you done it at some point? Like reduce the tax? Or and, uh, uh, it's 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 there. If if you're familiar with our tax system, there are allowable deductions, deductions to reduce tax. So reducing tax per se is a legal thing. Yeah. It's when you go beyond what is legal to reduce what 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 you will pay. Because the government, our tax clause, naman is allowing you to deduct certain things before you get to be taxed. Mm -hmm. So if you go beyond that. That's when it becomes illegal. That's when it becomes an ethical. That's that's when it becomes. Uh, it's it's a personal decision to be honest. So you can answer your own questions about allowances instead of like allowance for their meal or taxable. Para na taxable. Yeah. So that's allowable. Mm -hmm. So so I, I don't. But there are certain limits. There are certain limits. So that's why um, a company would tell you, um, this is your basic, but you'll have this allowance non-taxable because that's allowable. That's that's not that's not tax that that's not tax uh, evasion uh, per se because it's 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 allowed in the law unless they repeal the law. It's it's actually uh, it's actually allowed. Ang nangyayari lang, um, certain people don't don't realize that it's allowed. That's why you need somebody who knows it's allowed mm -hmm. that you that you that you can give inputs in na, oh pwede natin tong gawin. you can you can you don't you don't really lessen the tax mm -hmm. you just distribute it in another in another funnel yeah. in another, you give it to an employee you, mm -hmm. you, so the government would you know give a leeway to that na oh binigyan mo siya ng mas malaki mm -hmm. you can less whatever you give that person yes. before we will tax you mm -hmm. but have you been asked to do the uh, Asked yes, uh, no. Why? It's a it's a personal decision. Gusto ko matulog si Gabe. It it has implications, kasi and I see it already. Yeah. I saw it already. I do want to be in that position. Uh, hindi ako, pero I've seen the effects. Eh. But have I've you seen. considered doing it? No. <laughs> At the very start. You don't want to mess up with <laughs> you don't you don't want to mess up with government. That's the last option. To, para sa amin, ha, yes. you don't want to mess up with government. You can mess up with other people, but don't mess up with government because it's institutional. It's the law. Uh, you can never go against it. You might kame ang ang personal lamen. Pwede mong lusutan for now. But how about five years from now? How about ten years from now? How about paritar ka na and nasilip nila yon? And then all your life na 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 ginugol mo to 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 you know to build your name, to build your reputation, to build your wealth, to build your family with all with all crumpled down in in one instant. Then may nasilip na. I don't want to go there. Why are you going to have a name? Why are you going business owners? Sorry, you're part of it. Yeah, design. You sign for it. <laughs> Ako personally, kami personally, even if you don't sign for it, yeah. you're still you're still part of it. Eh. Uh, and I don't want to be. We don't want to be. Yeah. We don't want to be part That's of it. That's why kami then. For example, we have clients. Sa first meeting palang sila sa tanamin na expectation. Yes. Na hindi kami yung accountants na taga bawas ng. If yun yung inaanap niyo, uh, that's not us. That's not us. So first palang naka filter na siya. Uh oh, we just uh, we we give. We give advice, opinions on certain things based on our morals personally and based on that's number one. That's our morals. Eh? That's that's our ethics as as a couple, as a family. And then what is what is allowed in the in the in the constitution in, in our tax laws. Means that it might be allowed uh, in the law per se, but if our personal conviction, personal beliefs, personal morals says. Ah, uh, that's not us. Yeah. We would, we would gladly say no. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it will depend by you at the end, sa amigo, more or less. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why my wife and I, when we got married, we, we, we sat, we sat on it and we discussed 
what our what is our core values as a family kami dalawa ano yung core value namin because we know we will in our marriage in our finances in our career we at a certain point we will encounter crossroads eh? big decisions hard decisions we need to make so we need to ground ourselves in those core values and say if hindi namin alam yung gagawin it's so hard to make this decision, we go back to those core values. Is it aligned to that? If it's not, then it's not a hard decision. It's an easy decision. So, inano naman yon. We we made it a point that we put it as a, as a foundation so that it will be easy for us to make decisions when crossroads happen. And one of it is integrity. integrity. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, kasi hindi mo alam eh, we're, we're, we're people eh, we're tao lang tayo eh, you don't know it. Eh. When you get to that crossroad, and then what if you need something? Yeah. What if somebody in the family needs money? Mm -hmm. If you don't, if you have nothing to hang on to and that you so really believe, you'll fall for it eh. Yeah. Kasi how would you, you, you'll have an excuse, you'll have a reason, you can justify it. I'll do this anyway because una, the, uh, they, they need, I need it. Pangalawa, uh, ginagawa din naman nila, so why not do it? So, we are we are very, we, my wife and I acknowledge the fact that we can be very vulnerable. Yes. So we need some, we need the, we need the solid ground to say, to remind ourselves, oops, it's not, it's not aligned to who we are we and our values. value. Yeah. So, no. Speaking of integrity, kwento lang namin, ah. recently, no, not recently, like, when we were preparing for a wedding, when we were preparing for a wedding, we you know that uh, you, you spend money when you yeah. prepare for a wedding. So there is a certain amount of money that we need in order to pay suppliers. Yes. And then during that time, uh, during that time, that certain amount, like six figures amount, almost half a million amount, uh, four hundred thousand plus, entered our bank account out of nowhere. Yeah. A dormant bank account. A dormant <laughs> bank account. A bank account we have not been using for like months already. Yes. We just, we just, we just, we just thought na, oi, may natira pa dong 500 something. Let's withdraw it na lang. And then, uh, ayan na yung account na yun. So, we withdraw the 500 pesos. So, tama, before we, we, we got out of that ATM machine, we got the receipt. And we were shocked because the balance says it's 400 something something thousand. Sabi namin, where did this come from? Wala eh. Well, it's a dormant account. Nobody knows it's, it's there. What my what 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 I'm grateful. How long po kaya nagbigyan ng account number? Wala wala. So so it was. It used to be a payroll account. It used to be a payroll account before. Na hindi na kailangan and all that. So uh, that was really that was that was big yeah. time sa aming magkasawa. It was really test of integrity. Because uh, you need we needed something eh. Yeah. We needed that same amount. So yung masasabi niya na tough po yung situation. It was a tough situation to be honest. Because you, you need something eh. Yeah, definitely. We won't be hypocrites and say no at the first instant. At the first instant, it's all like that. Yeah, so we, we give it a day. Yeah. Sabi namin, let's, let's give it a day, baka mawala din. Uh, let's give it two days. days. Uh, two days, three days. The next working day, our decision was, let's chase the money. It was inconvenient for us. Huh? We, yeah. we took a leave for it. We, we, we went to places in order to trace the money. We went to the bank. We talked to, 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 to people. We traced money trail. It, mm. it, it, it took us the whole day to know what really happened. And then, uh, and then we, when we knew who the money was for, really, mm -hmm. we, we called, we called the owner and say, we have your money, uh, they're from Baler. Yeah. So the next day, yeah. sabi the next convenient day for you, we don't want to transfer the money because uh, we don't really know. Yeah. So we want to validate, the, we want to validate the, the, the person, we want to validate the, the, the owner so the next day that they're available sabi namin can you come to come to manila and then we want to meet you and probably we can withdraw the money you deposit it something like that so 
Ah, that was an affirmation for us. Na nalang kung paano napunta sa ano? Yes. Nagkamali ng bank account number. Ay, di ba kung ginibali pa yun? Exactly. So, so to be honest, kung titignan nyo talaga, kung titignan nyo, pwede mong gastusin yun eh. Kasi that's a dormant account. Nobody will find out that it's there. And then, nakausap namin yung may-ari, they were not, they, 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 